All right, we're going to go ahead and get started, and I think people will join in as they come. But uh, I wanted to start off by thanking everyone for being here tonight. Uh, my name is Alyssa Thorner, and I work in the Johns Hopkins Breast Cancer Program. Um, for some of the, you who don't know, uh, we've been running these integrative medicine series for a couple years now, and um, we've been doing them in person downtown at our um, main loca main hospital location. Um, and given everything that's happened, we thought this would be a really good opportunity to try out a new modality. Um, Emily was supposed to come to us in March to one of our luncheons, um, and so we're super excited to have her here tonight. Uh, and again, it's a great opportunity to open it up. And I'm thrilled that I don't have to go back to work after this is over and I can get into my pajamas and end the night. So it's a really great opportunity. And I met Emily a few years ago. I went to one of her medication classes and I remember getting into my car and thought, how in the world is she going to expect me to drive home now? Um, it was just really, I felt like jello and didn't even, couldn't even really figure out like how to put the keys in and, and get home. Um, just walked out of there feeling like jello. So um, I think we could all use a little bit um, of stress relief in our life, and um, hopefully this is a really good opportunity. So I'll, I want to take a second just to introduce Emily Lodge, who you hopefully see on your screen there. Um, Emily um, is a wonderful, wonderful yoga instructor. Um, she's a certified yoga therapist. She has a master's of science in yoga therapy. Uh, she teaches therapeutic uh, somatic yoga, vinyasa yoga, as I mentioned, meditation. Um, and sound healing. If you want to learn more about Emily, you can go to emilylodgeyoga.com and she's got great information, retreats, et cetera. I'd highly recommend you check it out. Um, but don't want to take too much time going through different things. Uh, just a couple of very quick housekeeping things. Um, I am going to mute your lines just because uh, Zoom is super sensitive. And uh, I know in my own house, dogs are barking, children are, are making noise. And so I'm just going to um, mute you. If you've got any problems, feel free to chat with me and I can try to do my best to triage it. Um, and also, it's up to you whether you want to leave your camera on. I might recommend turning your camera off so we're not distracted, but I'll leave that up to you. Uh, but um, I'll let Emily sort of run the show from going forward. So again, thank you for joining us, um, and I uh, hope you enjoy the next hour. All right. Thank you so much, Alyssa, and thank you for everybody who is tuning in and joining this circle. Essentially, we're in a big, wide circle, and, and I, I know we're all spread out across the land in our homes and in our apartments. and um, such an amazing, I mean, amazing and challenging time that we are in and that we can connect in this way. <clears throat> so I can't hear your answers, but I, I'm assuming that some of you have experienced sound baths before and some of you have not. And you're coming here because you've heard that they're very relaxing and healing. And uh, I know Alyssa talked a little bit about how it's healing and it's through the power of sound and vibration. And you may already know that in, in science, it is taught that everything comes down to a vibration, everything. And in yoga, it is taught the same thing, that Aum is the eternal vibration, every being vibrates. And in addition to that, we're able to measure, scientists are able to measure when we're vibrating at different levels. So emotion causes to vibrate at different frequencies. The health of our bodies vibrate differently when we're healthy and then we're not healthy. And so do our organs. And these bowls are calibrated at different frequencies. <clears throat> they play three different notes and they are healing, healing frequencies. So they will encourage your body, your nervous system to calm, to relax, and to induce the um, rest and digest side of the nervous system. So your body turns more of its resources over to healing, to regenerating, to restoring, versus when we're in fight flight mode and we're a little worried, then our body diverts energy to defense. So now we're no longer needing to defend, we're gonna rest and open up the ears, relax, let the healing vibrations come in, and have an hour of bliss. I'm going to bring you um, through a little bit of guided meditation in a very relaxed state, and then I'll start to play the bowls. <clears throat> so to get started, I want you to get comfortable, and that can be lying down, or it can be seated. You can be leaning against a chair. I want to give you just a minute or so to set up if you're not feeling comfortable. And make sure that you're also warm. So perhaps you grab a blanket or put on an extra shirt or some pants. Make sure the lighting is your, in your room is good. And once we start, you're not gonna need to see me, so you can even set the phone down now and just lie down, close your eyes, start to get ready. 
you want to light a candle, you can do that. <clears throat> and if you have headphones and they're not too far away and too much trouble to grab, grab them because it'll make the sound quality of the bowls come through a lot more. Good. So setting up, getting comfortable, getting warm, making sure you have everything you need, something to drink. You might go to sleep and that is totally okay. And um, that is something that I wanted to mention. So you can focus on several things. You can focus on your body. You can focus on feeling sensation and feeling the waves of vibration flow through. You can also focus on the sound. But you'll also notice some of you colors behind your eyes. If you're somebody who normally sees colors and thoughts, then that will really come through with the vibrations and the sound. And also emotion. So uh, allow whatever to come to come, just to pass through. All right. So assuming you're very nearly set up. <clears throat> I was going to pull an affirmation card that, um, that we can all think of and bring into this circle and into this meditation. So I'll shuffle them one time and then pull a card and then I'll read the card to all of you. I had been hoping that, that I could ask and speak to each of you and see how you would like to feel this evening, whether you would like to feel relaxed, whether you would like to feel soothed, whether you'd like to feel rejuvenated, energized, grounded, loved, cared for. But there's far too many of you to do that with. And so I've got these affirmation cards. I'll pull one, and this will be for all of us, the collective. Okay, I've got ambition. Let's see, 38, so positive message. <clears throat> we ask you to present the beauty and richness discovered in your life so far. You have come this distance, and so what are your gains? Celebrating them right now is key to enabling you to create and co-create even more in your life. You live in a world, we live in a world, where we may have felt that we're not allowed to celebrate our victories unless we be cut down for being self-centered. Perhaps we we're raised in a family that discouraged us from shining in an authentic way. Being successful at the game of life requires us to refuse the message that we're too much or not enough. Our biggest win is to be ourselves, accepting ourselves exactly as we are, releasing the idea that we're flawed in any way and expressing ourselves with authenticity. Now is the time to express who we are and the message that we have to share. If we've been struggling to move on to the next level in our lives, working hard and putting time and effort in, we will soon find that we are winning. Our determination and commitment to our intentions are manifesting in this life with beautiful results. When we're winning, the world wins too. So just remember to share your beauty and your bounty. I love this message and I believe it so hard, hard, wholeheartedly right now. I think for being many of us given this time to reevaluate and to reinvest in, in who we are and our passions and our purpose, what we can create. And um, I, if that resonates with you, then take it with you. And if that doesn't resonate with you tonight, then let it go. And if you would like to set another intention, <clears throat> you can bring that to your mind, be it kindness, compassion, patience, love, just saying that word. And letting your eyes come to a close wherever you are, sitting or lying down. And with your eyes closed, first I want you to notice sounds in your house, in your home, in your apartment. Just notice the hum of machinery. Notice any wildlife, birds, humans, 
life. Ticking of a clock. Good. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale it out your mouth. Good. Shift all of your awareness to your eyes and open your eyes just for a moment. And look around your room. Just notice everything. Notice the things that right away you have a list. Oh, I need to do this. Clean that. Just let it go. Letting go of the distraction of sights in your room. Let your eyes close. But still not trying to peer through your closed eyelids. Notice unless you're in a pitch back pitch black room, you can see a little bit of a glow behind your eyes. Maybe you see colors or shapes. Just watch your own personal screen for a moment. No monthly charge. Take a deep breath in and exhale it out of your mouth. Good. Shift your awareness to your nose. So we're cycling through the senses right now. So really tune in, ground and connect to the body somatically. We're shifting again to your nose. Take a sniff like there's a flower right in front of your face. Just draw it up into the top of your nasal passages and notice. Maybe you get dinner. If you haven't eaten yet, maybe, maybe it'll make you a little hungry. Maybe you smell a lived in house, no judgment. Seems impossible to keep it clean right now with everybody here. Just notice life. Take a deep breath in and exhale that out too. And then cycle to taste. Just notice what you taste. Maybe you just had dinner, maybe you just had a drink, maybe a glass of wine, tea. Good. I like to cycle through the senses anytime I'm in my head and want to get into my body because we experience our senses in the present moment only. So brings it, for example, we taste in the present moment. And that's why chocolate is therapy. And we also smell in the present moment. That's why there is aromatherapy. We see in the present moment. And that's why art, nature is therapy. And then what we're really working with a lot tonight is the sense of touch. So shift your awareness now to sensation. And just notice first what your body is lying or sitting on. So feeling the chair underneath you or feeling floor or your bed. Feel the textures, blanket, hardwood, carpet. Notice the curve of your spine and the curve of your legs and arms. And then shift to the front of your body and feel clothing on your skin. <clears throat> Blankets, feel the texture. And the spaces where your skin is meeting air, feel the temperature of the air. And that's just the surface. I want you to dive in now and feel sensation in your body. <clears throat> this might be a silly question, but if you're not looking at your body, keep your eyes closed, you're not looking, you're not moving, how do you know that you have a body right now? Kind of like that age-old question, if the tree falls in the forest, is there a sound? You are not moving, you're not looking at it, how do you know your body is there? Oh, but you know, you can feel it. It's a whole landscape of electricity. You feel tingling in some places of the body, some other parts of the body, you feel pulsations. You feel heaviness in some parts of the body and lightness in others. Some parts of the body you feel really easily, probably your hands. That's because we use our hands every day. So the parts of your body you use more often, you'll have neural pathways going to and from, meaning more sensation of also. So whatever you do for work, you probably feel those parts of your body more. Feel your face because you use it all the time. Tonight, through this meditation and through our awareness, we'll take a journey through the body. And I want you to try to make contact with every single cell in your body. And this is such a wise phrase that I heard from one of my teachers, I can't even know who to attribute it to, where attention goes, energy flows. 
where attention goes, energy flows. A lot of us spend our time in our heads nowadays. So we got a lot of energy going in the head. Head feels heavy and full and pulled, tense. So we want to start to put more attention and awareness in the body because where attention goes, energy flows. And if energy is flowing there, that means increased blood flow, which means increased healing, white blood cells. And that means increased flow of lymph, which means the body's way of releasing waste. And as we yogis say, it's also increased flow of prana. And prana is mind energy. It's life. It's life force. <clears throat> so I would love for you to take a journey through your body today, through the sensory landscape. And it'll feel like a symphony. As I play the bowls and as I sing, you'll feel sensation rise and fall in different parts of the body. I'm, <clears throat> I've been saying a lot and I want to get started because I know you can only say like three things and then you lose people. So I probably lost you a long time ago, but I really want you to get the most out of this evening and, and just come out of it feeling so healed and, and full of life and passion and zest and, and ready rested. <clears throat> so one, one more thing I'll touch on. <clears throat> and that is um, your body speaks a language. And your body's language is and always has been sensation. When you were a kid, you knew that language intimately. If you needed to twist, you twisted. If you needed to jump, you jumped, fidget or run, you did it. You listened to those sensations. So kids are all over the place. And then we get to first grade or second grade, whatever grade it is that they crack the whip and you're told, sit down. No, you can't move and turn and talk to someone. No, you can't twist, no fidgeting. No, you can't go to the bathroom. And so we unlearn that language. And this is so much about listening to the language of your body. Your body is going to speak to you tonight as we listen, as we breathe. As you feel sensations rise and fall, try to feel them more deeply. So feel the tingles. Try to pinpoint exactly where it is in your body. Feel tickling, feel tension, feel heaviness, lightness, feel warmth, feel coolness. If you feel a sharp shooting pain, that's your body's signal saying, move. <laughs> Get in a different position. Prop yourself up with a pillow. Turn on your side. Turn. You by no means have to stay still tonight. Try to resist the urge to fidget. Fidgeting is just the mind being restless, and, and that's, so that's different than pain or true discomfort, okay? So we'll get started listening. And a great listener is a heart with ears. to bring your awareness to your hands and your feet. <clears throat> and first, just feel them. Feel your hands and feet. Notice sensation in your hands and feet. As you hear the vibration and the sounds of the bowls, notice Sound flow through your hands and feet and vibration. And the longer you keep your awareness on your hands and feet, you feel that sensation and that vibration start to grow. <clears throat> Almost as if your hands and feet are emanating warmth and energy. Now I want you to imagine that you have lungs in your hands and your feet and you can breathe through them. I know it sounds crazy, but really try to imagine. The next time you inhale, breathe in through your hands and feet. And then as you exhale, let it feel as though your hands and feet are floating away from your body. Again, as you inhale, imagine that you can breathe in through your palms, through the soles of your feet. And as you exhale, let it feel as though your hands and feet are floating, weightless. Just dissolving tension. Using your breath. <clears throat> We 
Just shift your awareness to your belly button. And feel your belly button and everything below it. Feel the whole bowl of your pelvis. Just notice sensation there. Note if it feels pleasant, easy, spacious. Notice if you feel any tension or holding or clenching. So soft. <clears throat> I have a little allergies getting to me today. And start to notice sound and vibration within your belly. And I want you to imagine that you could breathe in through your belly button. It's wild, I know, but just really pretend. And then breathe in through your belly button. Feel the whole bowl of your pelvis widen, soften everything inside, give it space to flow. And then as you exhale, let it feel as though your hips are floating. As you inhale, expanding the whole bowl of your pelvis, breathing in through the belly button, softening. as you exhale, let it feel as though the hips are floating. Low back is floating. Weightless. <clears throat> and shift your awareness to your upper back. Feel the upper back pressing against the floor or against the chair. Feel the back of your heart. Feel the front of your heart. Go in between, all around. As if you could breathe in through the space behind your heart, as if you had lungs there. The next time you inhale, breathe in through the space behind your heart. Expand the whole chest, the ribs, the lungs, the shoulders. And as you exhale, let it feel as though your whole upper body is floating. As you inhale, expanding, dissolving any tension. And as you exhale, it feels as though your upper body, your shoulders, the back of your heart is floating weightless. And shift your awareness to your ears. And we can feel just your right ear, your right ear lobe, your right inner ear. <clears throat> and then feel your left ear lobe, your left ear, your left inner ear. Now feel both ears at the same time, the lobe, the inner ear. And as if you could breathe in through your ears, do that on the next inhalation. Inhale, breathe in through the ears, soften any tension, dissolving tension, expansiveness. As you exhale, let it feel as though your whole skull is floating. Inhaling, breathing in through the ears, releasing tension, expanding, softening. As you exhale, let it feel as though your head is floating. Weightless. Shifting your awareness to your eyes. Feel your right eye, your right eyelid, eyeball. Feel your left eye, left eyelid, left eyeball. Feel both eyes at the same time, both eyelids. Feel everything behind your eyes. As if you could breathe in through your eyes, the next time you inhale, breathe in. Soften everything behind your eyes. Dissolve any tension in your brain. Let go of any heaviness. 
And as you exhale, let it feel as though like your head is still floating. As you inhale, breathing in through the eyes, softening, dissolving tension, expansiveness. And as you exhale, let it feel as though your head is floating. Weightless. And last little bit of tension to dissolve. So you can go into full sound back bliss. Bring your awareness to the top of your head, the crown of your head. That little soft spot you used to have right there. That's where we yogis believe the light enters. You can imagine that you could breathe in through the crown of your head. And you can imagine that it is a color. It's green, it's blue, it's white. Whatever feels healing to you. And as you inhale, imagine that light entering and filling and swirling, filling every part of your body, the front, the back, the side, the insides, all the corners. Filling, filling, filling. And as you exhale, releasing all the way out through the soles of your feet. Exhaling out through the feet. And you can imagine that again, that light is white or green or, or blue or healing color. Or if it makes more sense to you, you can imagine that that light is, is releasing anything negative. So a color that you might associate with negative. For some reason, red comes to mind to me, but at the same time, red is such a beautiful color and it's love, so it's hard to pick a color that you release. Maybe it's just all the healing color. Do that one more time. As you inhale, fill every crevice, every shadow. Fill, 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 and then hold it and marinate in it. And then let it go. It's like everything in life. It comes and it goes. Okay. So now I just want you to let your awareness rest in your body with no particular aim. Just let it float around and you'll feel that symphony of sensation rise and fall as I play. You might feel a tingle in your shoulder and then an ache or a dull ache in your hip or maybe a warmth here or a heaviness there. Just follow it and remember you're listening to your body's language. And remember, a good listener is a heart with ears, no mouth. So don't try to resist going into the story about what you feel. You don't have to tell it to anyone or write it down. If it's important, it will come to you later. And that's another thing. Your mind is going to wonder, some of you, that's okay. Try to imagine that thoughts are waves and you are the surfer. So just surf it. You feel a wave of thought come, surf it, dive off, move on, come back to the vastness, oceanic place of being. Feel sounds, feel sensations. You can feel sound actually, feel the vibration. Smell smells, feel feel. Just listen. Your body will guide you into its own release, its own healing. Your body is that wise and that amazing. <clears throat> Trust.
Trust. Feeling sensations in your body rise and fall like a symphony. Listen to what your body is saying to you. Sprinkle softening everywhere like Emerald Lagasse sprinkle salt. Sprinkle softening everywhere. Anywhere you feel tingling. Anywhere you feel tension. And if it's not easy to do that, it doesn't release with softening or just the desire to soften, then use your breath. Imagine you can breathe right into that space and then do it. And with your breath, invite softening. You'll notice the more you pay attention to that sensation, <clears throat> the more it starts to shift, dissipate, soften, sometimes expand. Imagine you're being a good listener, a heart with ears. Let that sensation say what it wants to say. Feel it so acutely that you could paint it on a paper for your doctor. Feel it in color. If you're new to this, and you're not sure what feeling to focus on, I encourage you to start with your hand. Because we use our hands all day, they're the easiest part of the body to connect to, somatosensory. And the more you keep your awareness at your hands, the more that sensation starts to grow, tingle. Just follow that. Keep feeling it. See where it shifts. It shifts and how you can follow it. If there's a particular part of your body that you would like to send healing to tonight, you can let your awareness rest there and in the areas around that space. Keep bringing your awareness to it and then shifting to other parts of the body that are speaking to you. Coming back and softening. <coughs> Soft, smooth, deep. I am going to sing an affirmation. Just another word for that is mantra. And this one is in Sanskrit. This is an ancient language that no longer exists. Language of the ancient yogis. And it is sare sa sa. But what it means is connecting and aligning the energy that is in the world and the earth, the plants, the trees, the oceans, connecting that energy with the energy within me, the sacred energy within me, and healing. Yes. 
Slow, deep breaths into sensation. Listening. How amazing is life? What does it feel like to be alive right now? Full of sensation. It's a whole landscape. Let it be there. Sensation flow, not resisting, not holding. What would it feel like to embody the word surrender? To surrender to gravity right now. We were on the moon together or the space station. This pose, whatever pose you're in, would be impossible. We would be floating around, so would all of our furniture. <laughs> It'd be kind of a disaster in our home. Relaxation, as we know it, would be impossible. How do the astronauts sleep? 
So I want you to feel for a moment, really feel how gravity is pulling your body towards the heart of the earth. Let it. Let your bones feel heavy. Soften everything around your bones. Soften your skin and muscles around your bones. Let gravity pull you towards the earth's heart. And then let the earth catch you. She literally has your back or your behind, depending on your position. Just let the weight of you release. You don't have to carry that weight. And notice that duality of sensation. When you fully release into gravity's pull and let the earth catch you, you all of a sudden feel weightless and light as air. There's this dual sensation of weightlessness, of being held. So let it go vibration wash through you in that symphony of sensation rise and fall as your body releases stagnant energy this is anything it's been holding physically anything it's been holding emotionally mentally feel everything releasing releasing dissolving if anything feels stubborn Tickling, use your breath, soft breath. Use that space with lightness until it starts to dissolve. Let it go. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. Bigger one. Inhale. Hold it at the top for three, two. Open mouth, sigh it out like nobody's listening, sigh. And one more like that. Huge breath in, fill up. Hold, draw in a little bit more and hold it for five. Floating for four, marinating in that breath. Three and two. Open mouth, let it go, heaviness. You feel that after effect in your body from such a glorious breath. Pulsations tingling. It's your body saying, ah, release. Let go. Just noticing where the symphony is rising and falling now. Think of sprinkling now compassion everywhere your mental glance goes. Compassion. Everything I find, if I face everything with compassion, it dissolves right before me. Whatever it is. Negativity, resentment, judgment, my own. I meet it with compassion, dissolves. Try it with your physical body. Just give it love, a little hug.
And keep your eyes closed if you're still with us, if you were able to stay this whole time. You're so blessed. I know it's hard to get a big chunk of time at home. And just want to hope everyone connected. Keep your eyes closed if you're still here. Just reconnect again to the sounds in your home all around, the sounds of life. Some gratitude for all that abundance, all that is this moment. And shift your awareness again to smells. Just take a sniff and notice smells in your home. Being grateful for all of them. Even the unpleasant ones are signs of life and having lived. Something to be grateful for too. And shift your awareness to taste. You know what you're about to taste if you can have dessert or dinner, drink, tea. And then shift your awareness to <clears throat> Sensation, one last time. <clears throat> Just feel the whole of your body pulsing alive and awake to being alive and awake. Tingling, wholeness, warmth, vibrancy. <clears throat> Just in case you missed one cell with oxygen and love and compassion and all that good stuff you were feeling, we'll take one last round of cleansing breath together. Softly exhale out first. And as if your body is a container, breathe in all the way to your edges. Fill up. All the way up. Hold it there and marinate in that life. Hold it for three. Hold it for two. And with an open mouth, let it all go. Let your eyes flutter open. And glance around your room. Just appreciating, noticing colors. Gratitude for this moment, being able to carve out this time. Bring one hand over your heart and the other hand on top. <clears throat> we'll see this with our own collective round of vibration. Um, and hopefully at home you feel comfortable 
doing this. And if not, just you can let the sounds and vibrations of all of us wash over you and feel this circle connected. But we all are vibratory beings. And when we vibrate, we feel it. It is powerful. It is energy. So we'll exhale out together. And also you can hum if you're not used to umming. Same vibration, so hum. Good, exhale out. And then deep breath in, we'll um. Oh. Bowing my head to my heart. Namaste, which means the light in me honors the light within all of you. Thank you for joining. Um, I'm hoping to be able to offer this again. I just wanted to say um, it'll be, this experience will be a lot more, more with a microphone. I ordered two microphones this week and both of them did not work. So I was, I used the microphone on my phone, which is okay. And you can still hear and feel the vibrations in my voice, but I'm excited next time to be able to offer a full, full in living color experience. Um, so I wanted to uh, say I'm going to stick around for a few minutes if any of you have questions or if you want to get feedback, anything you notice, colors behind your eyes, sensations, let me know. Um, make sure you all drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water, flush everything, hydrate just to uh, continue this healing that we did tonight. And um, thank you again. My name is Emily Lodge Floche, and it was a pleasure to be with all of you. Emily, thank you so much. I'm gonna unmute everybody's line. If you wanna stick around for a couple of minutes, we'll do a couple of questions. I know it's getting late, um, but if you have any questions for Emily, that would be great. And also just wanted to let everybody know, again, this is a new format we're trying, so let us know what you think, um, if it works for you, if it doesn't. We're gonna be hosting a yoga class next week. I'll be sending out an email, um, but yoga for cancer patients, cancer survivors, it's open to families as well. Um, hoping to have you join us. So again, thank you so much for being there. Emily, again, I really appreciate you being here. And, We'll stick around for a couple minutes. Um, Thank you. I'm going to unmute everybody's line now. Here's one question I always get, and I can tell you all what notes are the bowls. So this big one here, the big guy, he plays in a G sharp. And this one here, so the, uh, the one that's made of, uh, that plays a G sharp, this one's made of crushed um, so quartz and also platinum. Rockwell Surgical Suites, did I tell you this already? Yeah. Okay. And this one is Centera Northern. VA. I don't know if it's a hospital or. You're going to hear everyone now. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, if you're not going to talk, if you can mute your line. Um, or wait, all this is tough. I figured we would try this out, but maybe it's not so easy. Yeah. You can be yeah. chat or you can send me an email. My email is emilylodgeyoga at gmail.com. emilylodgeyoga at gmail.com. So if any of you have questions there, I think that'll probably be easier. I think you're right. Um, yeah. So again, and also if you join again, uh, you can use a mic, you use your little earbuds and you'll be able to hear and feel vibrations or those little ear, any kind of headphones will make the sound that much better. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. Thank, Thank you. you, Mary Boyd. Um, it's wonderful to have you. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. 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 Thank you.